Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Big Bosses. Today we are at Skoda Volkswagen and we have a very special guest with us, Mr. Piyush Arora, Managing Director Skoda Volkswagen India. So let's begin. Okay, I, I think uh, let me start by talking a little bit about uh, 2022 and then I come to 2023. Um, our group uh, started off with India 2.0 program uh, and started launching the cars just one and a half years back. And I think uh, driven by the momentum, what we got uh, with the new product, what we uh, exclusively developed in India for the Indian market, the response was extremely positive from the customers for both the brands, for Skoda as well as VW, and uh, also for both the type of cars, SUVs as well as the notchback. So last year we had a pretty good year. We saw almost a growth of 86% for the complete group. We had uh, sold more than 100,000 cars in the Indian market, including exports. We had a record of 130,000 plus cars last year. So we had a very good uh, foundation and start for the last year. Now, built on those uh, uh, foundation, we want to take the momentum to this year. Uh, it's been up and down right uh, beginning of this year so far, but we are expecting that overall we will have a high single digit or double digit growth this year over last year. And that is what uh, we are aiming for and we are on track for that. Yes, the data shows that uh, the numbers are a little lesser because of course uh, we are looking at the numbers over the full period of the year. It also depends on uh, what kind of product availability we have. Uh, as you know that uh, uh, last few years have been challenging from the supply chain point of view for the complete auto industry. Also for us, while I must uh, state that uh, our group has handled the, the, the situation of semiconductors uh, pretty well, but at the same time, uh, we have had uh, certain uh, uh, certain options and certain uh, products which have not been available. So the supply chain is getting better and we expect that in the second half uh, we'll be able to do much better than what we did in the first half. Yeah, if you look at uh, the last year, we ended up on the higher side of 2.5% uh, to be precise, 2.67% uh, market share driven of course by the India 2.0 cars uh, for the complete group. And our aspiration is that by 2025, we want to achieve uh, gradually 5% market share for the group. And we are moving in that direction, right? Uh, I think um, uh, most of the automotive companies, including us, uh, have been uh, uh, faced with this challenge of the semiconductor supplies uh, coming out of uh, uh, the COVID years. But uh, I think the short-term measures, what we installed were very clearly uh, prioritizing the supply chains with, uh, with the uh, global suppliers. Uh, setting up task forces, having a very clear indication of what availability do we have so that we can align our uh, rest of the supply chain and our production processes and also make them available in the, in the marketplace so that the customer knows exactly what uh, they can expect. Uh, having said this, in the long term, it is very clear that uh, you know, there are engineering uh, options which are available where you can look at alternates, but th this is normally a high lead time process. But at the same time, also uh, engaging with the uh, with semiconductor suppliers and our uh, uh, critical suppliers for a long-term commitment of how we can make it better. Uh, I, I think so. Our focus has been very clearly on uh, both these segments. As you know, that uh, notchback segment in India was uh, not doing so well. But I think uh, our both the products, uh, Virtus as well as Slavia really rejuvenated that segment and we are very uh, uh, confident that that segment uh, while will not uh, grow at the pace at which SUV segment is growing, SUV body styling is becoming really popular not only in India but globally as well. But having said this, our focus will continue to be on both the segments of SUV as well as notchback. Product driven market, new launch driven market, uh, India had not seen uh, too many notchback uh, new product introductions in the country. That could have been one of the reasons, but uh, of course, uh, uh, the general preference of the customers moving towards SUV body styling overall, globally, as well as in India, was also uh, adding to that. But a new product introduction really showed us a good product, a uh, product fascinating to drive, a comfortable product, safe product, definitely can lure some customers uh, to the notch back side. Uh, 
uh, we have launched the program uh, uh, in the market uh, in the last one and a half years and I think uh, our present focus is very clearly to consolidate the position with these four products in the Indian market, uh, make them successful but at the same time we do realize that uh, the MQB A0 Iron platform is a highly flexible platform and we would definitely look at opportunities on that platform if we can bring some more products. I think uh, in the growing market, we have to also looking, uh, look actively at the product portfolio and uh, we are confident that the way Indian market is growing both in ICE as well as BEF segment, we have opportunities from our global product portfolio or specific Indian product to bring in more products. And as we bring in more products, I'm sure that we will have a need to expand the capacity. Uh, I think India is a highly product-driven uh, market uh, like many other markets and of course we are looking at our product portfolio expansion uh, both in the ICE segment as well as BEB because we do believe that the growth in Indian automotive market, passenger vehicle market will come uh, from BEF as well as ICE markets. So as we will expand our product portfolio, I'm sure that there will be a need for us to expand our capacities. So right from engineering cap capabilities which we have developed for developing this product into in India as well as uh, supplier development, uh, making the suppliers partners of our overall product development, uh, utilizing the Indian um, more and more capabilities in engineering uh, is has been our focus and we have developed this product very clearly not only for the Indian market but also for export. Uh, today we are extensively exporting the VW brand uh, to Mexico, some of the South American markets as well as some of the uh, some of the South uh, or South African market. Uh, having said this, we are also looking at now Škoda brand uh, to export. We have started exporting the cars, uh, the Pushak to Middle East and we are looking at Far East. And as part of our strategy in Far East, uh, we will be entering the Vietnam market very soon, uh, next year. First uh, with the partner who will manufacture the cars developed in India and uh, the parts being supplied out of India. And then they will also import cars out of Europe for the other product uh, varieties. Uh, Vietnam model might be for us a model which we can utilize even going forward for other markets where we can utilize sending parts and assembling the cars. And uh, we are very uh, bullish about the overall development also of the Southeast Asian market. I think I, we believe that uh, very clearly that Indian growth story in the automotive will come both from ICE and the electric vehicle segment. Uh, Volkswagen Group is uh, the largest EV uh, manufacturer and seller in Europe and we have a very extensive product portfolio available uh, globally for us. But at the same time, we want to also develop a specific Indian entry uh, BEF car. Our strategy has been so far top down. We have entered the market with our Audi brand as well as our Porsche brand. Porsche Taycan and Audi e-trons have been very well received in the Indian market and very successful. But at the same time, for both Skoda and Volkswagen, we are now in the stage of looking at what products should we bring in from our global portfolio as well as what can we develop in India for the Indian customer. Right, so we, we have been, uh, we have brought in uh, Skoda ENIAC as well as uh, uh, VW ID4. Uh, for uh, experimental drives in the country and we are in the process of finalizing when can we when should we bring that car into the Indian market. I think uh, the initially when the electrification in India started of course there, there was uh, some apprehension about uh, whether the customer acceptability uh, range anxiety would uh, deter customers from uh, buying the uh, buying the uh, electric vehicle because of course India being a big country the electric vehicle charging infrastructure will take a while but uh, Many of us have been surprised the way the electric vehicle acceptability amongst the customers. And I think these go going forward, overall as the market will develop, the overall size will develop, the cost structures will start getting better, the affordability will start getting better, and I think that would aid the penetration of electric vehicle in the country. I think all the regulations which are in place in India and globally definitely make electric vehicles extremely safe. And from that point of view, I think uh, uh, the government of India and the regulations which are put in place would uh, make sure that the customer is never disadvantaged. Overall, market dynamics will define uh, when the price steps are taken. The cost, uh, cost measures, uh, I think increasing cost, uh, also a stronger foreign exchange in terms of euro and dollar. 
uh, add uh, to the overall cost structure of uh, any car manufacturer, also us. But having said this, I think uh, the price is uh, driven from the market dynamics and of course, you will look at the appropriate time uh, when the price uh, has to be passed on to the customers. From my point of view, I think in an organization, uh, you need uh, uh, empowerment and uh, also uh, entrepreneurship amongst your managers, which can uh, drive that. Uh, finally, at the end of the day, a diversified group like ours to, to steer that you have to depend on uh, the skills of individuals who are driving their respective business, empower them and make sure that uh, they are able to deliver based on the targets and overall uh, group uh, objectives.